Hi everyone, it's me, hopefully skinny. It's been a very long time since the last time I did a video. Um, so I'm here to do some updates. Some of the updates are really exciting and some of them are kind of just um, almost like paperwork, boring stuff. But stuff I feel like it's important to say considering where I am in my journey, journey now. So <clears throat> I did not do an update for a year because in all honesty, because I was not losing weight and I did not feel that the surgery was going to, it felt like a fairy tale. It felt like it was a very far away thing and I was going to have it in Richmond and that's like two hours away. The appointments were really far apart. So it just really felt that it was long drawn out. I didn't feel comfortable in that particular program. Um, and I didn't realize it until um, I switched over to Kaiser South Sacramento Bariatric Program. And this program is a little bit smaller. It seems a little bit more intimate, like um, they really get to know you versus uh, Richmond, which I, I can't complain too much about, about Richmond, um, other than it felt like it was a very large program and they were just pushing people through. And um, they, were, they, they, they were not the kindest people in the world, really. And so I just thought this was like Kaiser. This is just how Kaiser does it. They're very impersonal, you know, impersonable. Um, you know, they didn't, you know, really connect to the individual that um, we were just one of many. Um, Sacramento feels a little bit more intimate. It feels that the surgeons and the nutritionists listen to you and, um, they're much kinder in their explanations versus it's just the way it is. If you don't like it, then you're not in the program. Uh, that's kind of the mentality that Richmond had. Um, so you didn't have an option. I mean, you don't have an option in Sacramento either, but at least it's explained kinder. And um, they'll explain it as many times as you need, really, um, which I don't think you needed to be explained a lot, but there were some people in the class that like you had to explain it five different ways before they understood it. Um, so when my insurance switched over from major risk medical insurance to Obamacare, which was something that I, I did on purpose because um, while I was um, having insurance with Kaiser through major risk medical um, insurance program, it was um, $20 less than what I'm paying now, but I had a deductible, a rather large deductible. So I was paying uh, full price to go in and speak to my doctor, and it was just too expensive. And then that was another reason that my weight loss was not um, working well, is because the, the, the cost for my co-pays was kind of high until I hit that deductible. And, um, and honestly, I mean, like, I can blame, you know, all these other outside things that I can control, uh, when it really comes down to what I didn't control, like what I was responsible for that I didn't do. Um, but anyways, when I switched over to Obamacare, my copay was much more manageable. Um, I talked to my primary physician and I scheduled an appointment for the 27th of, um, the 27th of uh, January, and I requested to be transferred over to the South Sacramento Bariatric Program, which within a matter of days, I was called and um, was um, was immediately put um, into their consultation class. Uh, I believe that was on the 4th, and uh, that was Tuesday the 4th on February. And it was a very long class, but like I said, it was a smaller group, so it was very individualized um, towards the questions and what we as a group understand it, understood, understand it, understood. And um, they, at the end, um, very like Richmond did the very same thing. You fill out a paper, and they take the paper to the office, and then they give you appointments. Um, they did a little bit different here is that they asked you what day do you prefer like do you prefer today because we have openings for today and of course I was like <laughs> me today I want to get this started like I'm tired of waiting and so I met with my new surgeon and I can't even say his name because he's Indian and I, just, I don't have a talent for um, 
speaking really difficult names or foreign names. So um, he asked me, like, what surgery am I looking at? And I explained to him that I was coming from Richmond Bariatrics and that um, we had discussed the root and why, and they said I needed to lose 60 pounds. And he asked me about my weight loss history, weight loss history so I did fill him in. And I did um, explain to him that I had lost 150 pounds and kept it off. And I'd just been really struggling with this last leg that I felt an additional 60 pounds was almost impossible for me to do as that would put me like losing 200 pounds on my own. And I just, I just really, really wanted help. I really felt I needed the help at this point. And so he asked me if I'd consider something called the diadual switch, which from what I understand is actually a combination between the two surgeries that the uh, vertical sleeve um, and the Ruin Y. And um, I said, well, I had looked into it when I was looking at surgeries, but Kaiser, from what I understood, did not offer it. And he says that they do offer it but they outsource it to someone in San Francisco. And I was just like, okay, I understand that, but it's really important for me to try to stay here in Sacramento. So what are my options here in Sacramento? That's when he um, looked at my body type, like the other doctor did, and explained to me that, to, that most of my body weight is in my lower abdomen and that that would make it really hard to reach the intestines safely. So he suggested doing the uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy first and then after a year's time come in and give me the ruin why he did say that sometimes people have extreme cess with the um, uh, vertical sleeve and they do not need the ruin why later but I do have an option so he then said that I needed to lose 15 pounds from when I weighed in that day and when I weighed in on the 27th of January, I weighed in at 399. Pretty much steady weight that I've gained some, lost some, but I pretty much stayed around 399. Uh, when I weighed in on Tuesday the 4th, I weighed 395. And he'd asked me how I had been maintaining my weight and now losing weight. And I said, well, i just been following the uh, Richmond's bariatric diet to lose the additional five pounds in a week. And he said, okay, well, let's aim for 15 pounds, so you need to get down to 380 before the surgery. Now, they do things a little bit different in Richmond, where um, in Richmond, you pretty much did everything until the nutrition class, until you get your goal weight, then you did your nutrition class. Here, they have you do a nutrition class and your orientation, and they require you to go to one support group, and your sur your uh, surgeon appointment before you get to the within five pounds of your goal. When you reach your five pound goal, that's when you do your, sorry, I have it written over here, your psychiatric, psychiatric, psych psychiatric evaluation. And then once you hit your goal, you meet with your RN care manager. And I guess it's like a fancy way of really saying a caseworker. But anyway, your RN, uh, care manager will then give you a date and they say that, that this time they've been scheduling put the um, surgeries less than two weeks out. So now all of this is leading up to like a big like aha moment I guess. Um, when I weighed in today at South Sacramento weight and it weighed in, I weighed in at 386.4 which means I am like so close to getting to 385, which I need to finish the last leg of my journey. So I'll be, I've been losing, um, I've been losing about a pound or a little bit more a day this last like four days, but, um, but that can change tomorrow, but I'm really, really expecting to be down to 385 by tomorrow or the next day. So that means that I then call them in and say, hey, I've reached 385. And that's when they start setting up the follow-up appointments for me. Um, after this point, because from what I understand, they give you a pre-op uh, pre liquid diet, which I 
I, from what I've heard, I, they haven't said anything, which I don't think they say anything in the past nutrition class or anything like that. I think they wait until you have your, your psych evaluation to uh, go to your nutrition appointment. Yeah, I have a pre-op class, which um, they go over nutrition again, um, and I think that's when they probably tell you about your liquid diet. Um, so I'm assuming that after I get to five pounds, have my psych evaluation, have my nutrition class, that they'll tell me that I'll be on a liquid diet, and they'll tell me how long, which, as heavy as I am, I don't foresee me being on the liquid diet very long to get down to um, for like, 380. Um, so that's where I am. Exciting. I'm one pound within the next goal, five pounds from the, from cert to getting my surgery date. So, um, I think that's all the update. Oh, and I've still been going to the gym. I do water aerobics, um, about honestly three to six days a week. I know that's like kind of a large gap, but it depends on if I have a doctor's appointment in the morning, then obviously I can't do water aerobics. So, um, it kind of depends on what's happening, how often I do my water aerobics. But uh, I have changed it a little bit because I've decided that just doing a water aerobics wasn't enough, that I wasn't losing the weight fast enough, and I was actually plateauing a lot, which I, I know is common, but seriously, there's a point when you're just like, you want it off, and it needs to come off now. And I decided that I was going to start adding water jogging into uh, into my water aerobics and so I come to class about 20-30 minutes before and I do some water jogging which it's, it's really tiring but I can tell the difference with how fast the weight's coming off once I added that in so that's my update I'm sorry it's a little long and if you guys have like any questions you can always you know um, ping me oh before I forget if you're following me on Facebook you're probably noticing that I have a little widget that tracks my weight for me and it says that I'm within one pound of the goal. I've set myself many goals so that I can feel more accomplished so I stay on track. And the first goal is actually that where I can start um, my psychological evaluation and get set up for you know the next five pounds which and it honestly is going to come off really fast I think. Um, but anyway so um, so that's what that marker is. Once I reach that goal, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be reset to a different goal. So I don't want people to get confused when they're like, I thought you reached your goal and now you're five pounds away again. It's, it's just so that I can track how often I reach an accomplishment. So anyways, that's it for reals. Goodbye. And I hope everyone has, a has a successful journey, um, uh, with their weight loss or whatever obstacles that they have. Um, so I will say goodbye now, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye.